Hi everybody, um, Brittany here. Um, Cassie asked me to do a quick video on Mrs. Hewitt's, Hewitt's focaccia bread. Um, I found this several years ago at the Gluten Free Expo and I bought some at the Expo this year and then Cassie decided that she wanted to offer it to, um, to the co-op. So we have it on available this month for the first time. Um, I love, love, love this, this focaccia bread mix. Um, we use it all the time to make pizza and that's what I'm going to show you real quick to do. Um, the ingredients and directions is pretty simple. You have to let it rise for an hour, but um, it's very user friendly though. So it is gluten free obviously, dairy free and soy free, and it's certified gluten free. Um, so in this, um, so why don't we just get started and then I will we'll let it rise for an hour and then I'll come back. So <laughs> um, this is my first video, so be kind to me in the comments, okay? So, in this focaccia mix, it has the mix, the flour, and then it has a little bit of herbs that are in it. So that just goes in a bowl. And the ingredients you need is three and a half teaspoons of yeast. Um, you need two eggs and one yolk. And we're, our family's dairy free too, because of allergies. So. We're going to use almond milk, but you can use whatever milk you want to use. It, it doesn't matter at that aspect. But it calls for milk and oil, olive oil. So for the first part, you're going to grease. The recipe calls for a 9 by 13 pan. We're going to make pizza crust out of this, so we're going to do it just in a cookie sheet. Um, it works in a cookie sheet. It just makes it thinner. So if you want this to be more like focaccia bread, you're going to want to put it in the 9 by 13 like the instructions say. So um, we are going to mix the eggs, yolk, olive oil, and the mix in here. So let's get started with that. Put the eggs in there. I'll try to keep this video short because I don't like watching long videos, but we'll see how long this takes me. And then your yolk. I don't know if you guys have a good use for egg whites, but if you do, comment below and I'll let you tell me about it. Um, and then we have our milk. And like I said, we're using almond milk, but you can use any type of milk that you want. It works well with dairy-free milk. Um, this is just what we prefer. And it's one and a half, or one and one-fourth cup of milk. And... Don't mind my messy kitchen. You're gonna mix all that together. It's gonna be kind of thick, but that's where the olive oil comes in. Um, you can see that's kind of what it starts to look like as you're mixing it. You can use a hand mixer or you can mix it by yourself. It's just mix on low speed, get it all incorporated. I'm no chef. So, <laughs> as my husband can attest, he's the cook in the family. I don't do cooking. But this focaccia bread is easy enough that I can make it too. So, okay, then we're going to add the oil and the yeast to it. It doesn't come with a yeast packet, but it calls for three and a half teaspoons of yeast. And then olive oil is one third teeth cup plus two tablespoons. One third and two tablespoons. I usually don't do this many dishes, but because I'm showing you guys what it is, we're doing it this way. Okay. And then you're gonna mix all that up too as well. And this is where a hand mixer might be a little bit better. 
It says to use a hand mixer and I forgot to get it out. So we're gonna use, just mix this all up. Make it nice and creamy. It is thick, but that's, it's okay. It's supposed to be thick. The hand mixer says to just mix it on low, so I figured this was good enough. Okay, and then you take um, and spread it into the cookie sheet. Then you're going to need an additional. Oh, geez, that's awkward. An additional fourth cup of oil to help spread it out because it's kind of thick. And this is where, again, the directions are a little bit different because we put on a cookie sheet to make pizza crust. You stick it in a 9 by 13 pan and um, spread it with the oil on top too. So this is the only step that's different than the instructions. But the instructions are all nicely on the back. And so the, what we're offering this month is an eight count. So there'll be eight of these in the bag. So okay. I'm gonna take my fingers and this is kind of how you just spread it out and make it so it doesn't sprinkles on top and spreads evenly with your hands. My hands are clean, I promise. But this, by spreading it in this cookie sheet instead of a 9 by 13 pan, it makes it actually really good pizza crust because then it thins it out quite a bit. And uh, if you're doing just regular focaccia bread, it uh, the 9 by 13 pan is perfect for it. Oh, it's very slimy. And then you sprinkle the rest of the oil on there, correct? Yeah, my, I'm asking my husband behind you, the camera. <laughs> we'll drizzle the rest of this and then you cover it and let it rise for an hour. And then we'll come back when it's all done and risen and that's baked. And we're gonna cover it in pizza sauce, but you guys can, we'll show that to you in a bit. Done. <laughs> okay so now we are back and we have let our dough rise for an hour the focaccia bread um we're gonna put some pizza sauce on it now and toppings and make it all yummy um normally at this point if you aren't doing a pizza crust you would put it in the oven at 350 um for 18 to 21 minutes so but we're going to cover ours in pizza sauce homemade pizza sauce by the way um and toppings and we're going to cook it until for about the same amount of time for the pizza about 18 to 20 minutes till all the toppings and everything like make it look happy um so that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna cover it in pizza sauce and add our toppings. And then we will stick it in the oven for that amount of time. Um, my husband's helping me now. <laughs> so, um, like I said, the uh, you wouldn't cover in pizza, obviously. You would just take it and stick it in the oven if you weren't gonna make pizza. But once it's set for an hour to rise, you let it, you cook it at 350 for 18 to 21 minutes. All that instructions is on the, each of these bags. Um, 
and it's a count of eight, eight count. You get eight of these for $44.54. So it's a really good deal. Um, like I said, we use, we make focaccia bread just to have as a side dish and then we also use it for pizza. So we go through an eight count quite a bit. Um, so then we're gonna uh, stick this in the oven and go to town. Um, is that enough sauce for you, honey? Do you want any more sauce on it? <laughs> He's not gonna answer me. <laughs> we're gonna cover it in cheese. But this is how we make our dairy-free, gluten-free pizza on a regular basis, is we use this for kacha bread. And I'm gonna leave about, my daughters are the only ones that have to have dairy-free. So the, the mix is already dairy-free. Um, it's not egg free, but you can have it be dairy free. So I'm gonna leave like that half, you think? A little bit more, a little less, a little bit more. My daughters don't eat a lot of the pizza, so um, I'm gonna leave that half or that part for the dairy free um, pizza, or for the cheese. Do I love cheese or do you want more cheese? <laughs> He's not picky. I'm gonna put some dairy free cheese here at the end. And then cover it in pepperoni. And that's pretty much all that my kids will eat. I would like it to have more like other toppings, but you know. My kids only like pepperoni and cheese. But we usually like to have some veggies on it too, but we'll have them on the side. I'm thinking we should look at maybe offering some pepperoni sometime in the co-op. Maybe that's something we can do in the future. We'll have to look and see if we can get some pepperoni. All right, so then now we just bake it for about 18 to 20 minutes. Again, if you are not gonna do the pizza, you would take your pan and just after it rises for an hour and stick it in there. And all that's listed on the back of the instructions. So, looks good. We'll stick it in the oven. And then we'll be back when it's done. You have a party? And here is the finished product. I did forget to mention that before you put this your pizza sauce on, if you want to dab off some of the oil, it might not be a bad idea, just so it's not as greasy. It depends on personal preference. I forgot that step, but that's something that we do sometimes too. But now it's good enough to eat, but that's the focaccia bread. That's a pizza crust. Um, like I said, it's on sale right now for November for $44.54. And it's an eight count pack. So I'd suggest you grab it before it's gone. Now I'm gonna go eat some on dinner.